Hi everyone, welcome back again to our YouTube channel. In this series of video lectures, we'll study about uh, finding out FFT, fast Fourier transform of a given analog signal. For example, we'll consider here sinusoidal signal. We all know that most of the signals, all the real world signals are analog in nature. So we'll consider here a sinusoidal signal, which is a time domain signal, and we'll try to use FFT to find out the spectrum of it using fast Fourier transform. So to begin with, in very first lecture, we'll understand how to generate a sine wave, wave signal in Python. In the second lecture, we'll try to add some noise into it so that we get a sinusoidal signal with some noise, so noisy signal. And then in the third one, we'll apply, in third video lecture, we'll try to, we'll apply FFT, fast Fourier transform on this noisy signal to find out the spectrum of it. That will contain the signal spectrum along with a couple of harmonics. So to begin with, let's understand how to generate a sine wave in Python. To generate a sine wave in Python, first we need to understand what a sine wave is in general. So we know that a sinusoidal signal can be written as y equals sine x, so where x is the argument or domain of the signal and y is the range. So what, do, what does this x consist of? So the argument of sine, a sinusoidal signal will, ha will have certain frequency. It means how many times it oscillates in a particular seconds that defines the frequency. So the argument of sine could be frequency. So we need to consider frequency while defining a Python function which uh, generates the sinusoidal signal. Now the next would be the time. For how much duration it uh, we want the graph to be available. And third one is the sample rate. Sample rate it basically tells you about the number of data points which are uh, available in a particular duration. So let's say if the sample rate SR, let's say if sample rate is 20 hertz, it means there are 20 data points in one second. It means if let's say in one second we have this pulse, okay, so there would be 20 data points, and let's say we want to find out the data points across the time domain where. For that, we need sample rate multiplied by duration of the pulse. Okay, that will give us the total number of data points. So, if sampling rate is 20 hertz and we and the pulse duration is let's say 10 seconds, then we get 200 data points to make this graph. To define a sinusoidal function, what we need is time, the pulse width, duration of the pulse, let's say t, the uh, sample rate and the frequency of the signal it means how many let's say frequency is two it means we will have in one second from zero to one we will have two sinusoidal signal this is one pulse and this is another pulse if frequency is two so the frequency sample rate and the time time tells you about the duration of the pulse sample rate talks about the data points which makes the graph available and the frequency talks about the number of cycles in a given second so let's now go back to the python to write the code for it to write the python code we first we need to import the necessary library to plot the function or or to define the function so we need two libraries one to to generate the sine function that is uh, import numpy as np and the second one is to plot the sinusoidal waveform so these are the two libraries we need so let's broadly divide the complete code into three parts that is uh, define the sine function generate the sine function and uh, plot the function so we'll first define a function that we, that can be used again and again in the code wherever we wish to so before we define the function let's talk about uh, as we discussed in the theory what all things we require uh, as an argument we'll assign the variable for that value to the variable so let's write sample rate the length of the pulse and third one as uh, frequency so let's write f so sample rate let's put 60000 this all the comments will write at the end so that must be in hertz duration of the pulse so duration uh, is 10 seconds and frequency let's put it as 2 so these are the three uh, argument we require to give to the sine function now we need to define the sine functions so to define the sine functions we can use def generate underscore sine underscore wave. Now we need to give the argument to it. 
the arguments could be frequency then sample rate that is the duration of the pulse so duration is defined here by t sample rate by sr and the frequency by f make sure you follow the indentation next is uh, defining the values to the argument that is x right sin x so x for that we use np dot line space so np dot line space that uh, it, it is used to generate the sine wave x coordinate of the sine wave so x coordinate of the sine wave are evenly spaced between zero and duration so we'll first uh, the very first point it starts with zero and where does it end this duration so just copy it and put it here the next uh, argument is the number of data points let's put the number of data points that is sample rate into duration so take sample rate from here uh, multiplied by duration now one more parameter we can add is endpoint equals false so this will help us when we go for fft because uh, endpoint equal false avoids the duplication of the point so if we start from let's say zero and uh, want the sine wave till 10 seconds but we don't want to include 10 so that's why we put endpoint equals false now this graph gives us uh, if we want to repeat this or we can say if we want to oscillate the sine wave for multiple frequency then we need to write down frequencies equals x times whatever we defined here multiplied by this frequency so it will so the graph will consist of many frequencies many frequencies in the sense it will repeat uh, the same graph the copy of the graph will repeat one after other if you don't put that it will only contain the graph for one period okay so that will try to see when we run the so free frequencies equals x into frequency now we'll assign this x value to y so to assign that we'll write y equals np dot sign so np dot sign function is basically used for to calculate the values of the sign function at each of the x coordinates so now we define the x coordinate the next is to find out the value at these x coordinate so for that we use the np dot sign and then inside within this we'll put the We'll, we need to convert the argument into radians so we have to multiply with pi so 2 into so 2 into np dot pi and then frequency so it will give us for di uh, different uh, pulses the next is return x comma y now let's say we want to generate a sine wave with some frequency so let's, let's put the frequency as f equals 2 sample rate as 80,000 and duration 5 seconds so for this we'll write x comma y and we'll call that function okay. so generate now we need to give the argument so what we so for that we need to check here whatever the order in which we have given here the same order we need to put it here so we have to assign the value to, to these variables so frequency let's put two then sample rate eighty thousand and duration five so this is all about uh, generating a 2 hertz generating a 2 hertz frequency pulse with 80000 sample rate and 5 seconds of period duration of the pulse okay now we want to plot it so the last part is plotting the functions so let's delete this thing to have everything yeah. so plt dot plot is the function used to plot the graph so plt dot plot and then we want to plot x and y so put x coordinate first and then y now we want to show the graph that's for that we put plt dot show this will show the graph let's run this code now so there are few errors let's see look at it so it says the name false is not defined i think the f should be capital so convert in uppercase then let's give it a so as we can see the graph now so this is the sinusoidal graph what we were looking for now let's analyze it it says we want uh, sine wave with frequency 2 so frequency 2 implies the number of pulse in one second would be 2 right number of oscillation in one second would be 2 so let's look at 1 so if you look at 1 at 1 we can see that so there are two pulses in one second and it goes up to a five seconds so the the given sinusoidal waveform the 
the duration is five seconds and we have defined here five seconds okay now and uh, the sample rate is 80,000 so sample rate is 80,000 multiplied by the frequency uh, sorry the time p uh, time for duration of the pulse will give us the data point so 80,000 into 5 is 4 lakhs right so 4 lakhs data points are required are used to make this plot okay now we can uh, see a couple of changes here see I had defined, we had defined slew rate, uh, sorry, sample rate, a time period, sorry, the duration of the pulse and, and the frequency, but we didn't use it here, right, in the function. We manually put it here. So if we want to use the variable, what we can do here, instead of 2, we'll define f. That will take the frequency from this variable, okay. And uh, instead of sample rate as 80,000, we'll just write sr because we have already defined the value sr equals 60,000 so this will fetch from here and then the last one is duration right so duration we have defined as t so so instead of writing 5 here manually we'll just write time t so it will these three variables will these values will be assigned to variables here now let's give it on again so we can see that there is a change in the number of waveform in a given second. Now, initially, the previous graph was having the pulse width, duration of the pulse as 5 seconds. Now, we have 10 seconds. Now, if you change this 10 seconds to 20, the, we'll have the more number of oscillations in a, given, in a given time period. Now, if you want to decrease it, let's make it 5 or 4. So, you can see the change in the graph accordingly. Now we can also change the frequency sample rate. So this is all about generating a sine wave using the generate sine wave function. So in the le next lecture, we'll try to add up some noise into the sine wave and plot uh, a noisy sine sinusoidal signal. So that's all about. Uh, so that's all about today's lecture. In next, see you in the next video. Stay connected.